Hi, I'm Deborah. Welcome to Moggy Box Craft. So today I'm going to try and show you how I created my beautiful backdrop for a 40th birthday that we've got coming up. So if you'd like to know how I created this beautiful wall, do keep watching. Basically all I've done is go out using an old bed sheet and make an old paint, which you'll see later, and paint it on words. Took a little bit of time to figure out what words and phrases I wanted to use. And unfortunately, I haven't really marked anything or put in lines. So they might be a little bit squint, but that's all right. So I just I'll go through with you. I haven't measured anything out as always. Um, so it's maybe a little bit squint, but yeah, I'll take you on and show you how I've created this beautiful backdrop. So I've got an old sheet. <laughs> I think this one is from, oh, Asda. But it's been lying in the cupboard, unused for so long, I thought, use it. Paintbrushes. Oh. Old paint. Um, yeah, you can probably see, oh my god, it's even got a spider web on it. Beautiful. So, old paint, stirring sticks, that's not very exciting. And because I'm just painting using old paint stripped to sheet, I'm not entirely sure how well this will last. But I can't really put my sheet on. So the paint doesn't end up staining, going through the so the paint doesn't end up going through my material and then end up soaking all through my table or onto my table. How big is this sheet? It does not say. Does it tell me the size of it? I don't know. I presume it's just a double, size of a double bed for a double bed, I think. Let's see. So yeah, so there's certainly a thicker edge and that'll be my the side of my backdrop and then the smaller one is going to be at the top. And of course, everything's covered with hair. The dogs are snoozing. You might hear some snoring, wheezing. It's the dogs. They don't care. Hopefully you won't either. Can I smooth out my material? So put material on top of the cardboard. And I've no idea if these paints are going to mix well together. No, in my look, they probably won't. Does this wash with a brush? So I'm going to mix up a few different shades. It's quite a satisfying. Yeah, so a slight, a slight, so we'll do one, some words with black, some words with if it doesn't curdle, a slightly, well, not a lighter black, a dark grey, and then some with this grey. Oh no. So these are all the colours I'm going to use. So we've got a black, a mix of white, and black together. It's got a darker grey, sort of like lighter grey, and then we've got our lightest grey. So that's all my all the colours I'm going to use. And if I run out, I'll just mix more. Just got a few paint brushes. We'll try these to start with and see how we go. Also, you're going to need some kitchen roll. Turns out I think this is going to be a bit more of a messy project than I had first anticipated. I'm already covered in paint. Obviously I'm working with paint. I should have thought about that, but I didn't. So I've written a whole heap of phrases and things orientating around 40 and getting older. Um, it's very much just supposed to be a bit of a joke, um, obviously. If you're doing one for 30th birthday or whatever birthday, just tailor words to like suit the birthday you're doing it for. Because with the words I've got, or the, the phrases, I'm just going to work along the material in like block capitals and each phrase or word I'll just do a slightly different, use going through the different colours. So yeah, I'll just show you what I'm doing as I go, I guess. Here's brush at the ready.
Of course I'm freehand painting all this. So last night I painted for I think eight hours <laughs> and this is as far as I've gotten. Finally gave up at 2am. So we will continue painting. But I'm pleased with how it's looking so far. But as always, I've got a lot left to go. And this project always seems to take, why does projects always take longer than you think they're going to? Day two of painting. That's my little paint set up here. Because it's such a beautiful day in Scotland, I thought I would uh, make the most of it. But yeah, this table's slightly bigger, so hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. So I'm enjoying the sunshine up here. Chico is enjoying the shade. And Pearl's happy in the house. <laughs> Getting this a little bit shortly. You're happy in the video. <laughs> You're happy in the shade. Well, this isn't going to paint itself. So finally on to the last word I'm going to write. Hurrah! I can't wait! And I actually think that word should be hurrah because I am so glad that I am finished. So that is the final word finished and the banner finished. So I'm going to go tidy up all this paint. So I'm going to go and tidy all this up, wait for this to dry completely and then I will show you when I've all pinned it up to the wall. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, seeing how I created this backdrop. If you'd like to see more of my videos, subscribe. It is optional, but very much appreciated. And do feel free to share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it or find it useful. So I shall take you on a little tour now of what is all said on my wall. Oh, and that is the dog sleeping. <laughs> A few of my favourite slogans. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like, leave a little comment. Um, do feel free to share this video with anyone you think might be find it useful or helpful. And I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, also, before I forget, you're maybe wondering how I uh, 
tuck this to the wall. Probably wouldn't recommend this unless you ask someone, but a uh, hammer and little picture hooks. Although I didn't use the hook things, I've just used the nail and I've just banged it into the wall. <laughs> and I'll just do some polyfilm repainting after we take it down. Perfect. <laughs> I will maybe show you that. put four pins in so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye